over there. The KT fans chose today, largely confidently assuming they'd get to see their faithful pick up a victory. Instead, this might be a dark day. This might be KT largely condemned to relegations, which is what a loss to Jin Air represents. And if we're gonna be honest, as we're engaged in here, Seize is real happy about this one, but Nova not so much as he's gonna flash and die. For first blood there, given over to the Zaya BDD going in, but he's pretty low, he's gotta be careful. Has to get out of there. Thankfully, he's not quite level six yet. As, oh, nice try by Charge. Oh boy. Oh, the space checking. Yeah, thought that uh, Sejuani was going a bit deeper than he imagined as. Okay, nice try on the knockback there by Linderon, but it is not going to be enough. Ultimate coming back here from the car. Let this one go. Because you're going to go wide here as Snowflower trying to start this up. Gets the ultimate onto C's here. Is still alive, immediately gonna be taken out, but can they get BDD on the back of this one? Requiem is not gonna come down here, and everybody on KT looking to survive. Down so BDD is in there, he doesn't have his perfect execution yet. This is a good time for Jin Air to fight, going in onto Snowflower, who is gonna get a big knockup. He's sacrificing, trying to delay time, but it is gonna go the way of KT Rolster. The sacrifice does work Skills. out. It's. What's the one we want? In a bit of trouble trying to trade it back here, but he is able to flash that last bit, but still not enough. Just uh, have have your fun. That I don't judge. Just to be clear, that wasn't a double entendre. Oh, okay. Speaking of not double entendre. All right, well, we're getting in there, into that back line, and finally we have a charge that's pretty good, but Seas is pretty much dead, as King is going to put him in the dumpster, but he's going to get low and get taken out Root. Can he actually do it here? Trying to be the carry for his team, as he's always tried to do. Pick, pick a winner here. Oh, Nova, he's dead. That was pretty quick. He just landed that glacial uh, prison, and BDD is behind them. This game needs a Baron steal, but BDD is going to steal some life. Oh, Bars. he's looking to take out Chungo again. And that's a really nice knockup from Snowflower. Knows what he's doing on that pick. And Root, well, he's all alone, just like every other game that he's played in. And uh, yeah, Kingdom does a lot of damage. He's actually able to survive somehow, some way. And KT didn't even get the Baron. They're gonna pick up some exit kills. Eight goes times the charm. Can he do it? All right, he charged. He got on top of Bray as the Root. Just keep your eyes on the 80 carry. He's immediately gonna disappear. And well, now they lost all their damage. It's Linderong. He's got to stop watch. The Baron's going to heal up again. Chungo's still alive. Okay. Who's going to win this fight? He missed the Shock Blast. Snowflower on the run. And okay, he's going to get the kill. Good job, Chungo. You did something. You got some of the script. Five Drakes taken down as mid lane. Oh, boy. They're going to take broken. down score. Okay. In goes BDD. Did he go a little bit too far here? You can see Root trying to take him down, but BDD is going to. Going to back with the Zonyas is going to be good, and unfortunately, Rude doesn't have the damage. Requiem again basically does nothing as Clyde is finally going to go down, and KT will be able to win. Time for cool poses. Made hard work of it. The KT roster do take down Jin Air.